Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty B Show. So, the story today is by Nicholas McIntyre, Marine Corps veteran removed from Delta flight, forced to change over threatening shirt. This took my soul away, he says. So, a Marine Corps veteran was removed from a Delta flight before she was ordered to change clothes when a flight attendant ruled that the passenger shirt, which brought attention to military suicides, was threatening. Catherine Banks, a 22-year veteran of the Marines, was on board the Delta flight at San Francisco International Airport to visit family on October 16th. When she wore her dark gray outfit and sat in her extra legroom seat, she paid extra. Do not give in to the war within and veteran suicide, Banks shirt read. A male flight attendant approached Banks and was confused when he tried to get her attention. Ma'am, ma'am, I looked around like, who is he talking to? And it was me. He said, you need to get off the plane. And I was like, what did I do? Banks told KMTV. Banks complied and was escorted off the plane and onto the jet bridge where she finally learned why she was removed. He said, that shirt you're wearing is threatening, she said. I said, are you kidding me? A dumbfounded Banks questioned a Delta employee before explaining that she was a veteran. I'm a Marine Corps vet. I'm going to see my Marine sister. I've been in the Marine Corps for 22 years and worked for the Air Force for 15 years. I'm going to visit her. Banks' military background did not phase the flight attendant who issued her an ultimatum to return to the plane. I don't care about your service, and I don't care about your her service. The only way you're going to get back on the plane is if you take it off right now, Banks recalled. Banks, who was braless underneath her shirt, told the flight attendant to turn around so she could remove the seemingly polarizing shirt and replace it with a sweatshirt. The shirt is sold by the uh, Till, T-I-L, the Hala, B-A-L-H-A-L-L-A project as part of the 22-a-day collection, which brings awareness to the estimated 22 veterans who commit suicide each day. Suicides among active duty military members are reportedly at an all-time high since 9-11, which records began according to the USO. Over 30,000 active duty personnel and veterans who served in the military after 9-11 have died by suicide compared to the 7,057 service members killed in combat in those same 20 years, according to research published in 2021. Banks says her shirt was a symbol of the work she does helping her fellow veterans, and having it removed caused her to be humiliated. I feel like they just took my soul away. I'm not a bad person in that T-shirt. I should be allowed to support myself and veterans, she said. Banks was brought to the back of the plane instead of the seat she paid for, which had already been given to another passenger. Delta Airlines can refuse to transport passengers if their conduct, attire, hygiene, or odor creates an unreasonable risk of offense or annoyance to other passengers, according to the airline. The matter with the customer has been resolved. We appreciate her patience as we continue to work to understand what occurred during this event. Most importantly, we are thankful for her service to her country, a Delta spokesperson told the Post. In August, another Delta passenger was kicked off a flight over his inappropriate shirt. The unidentified man donned a black t-shirt featuring the likeness of former President Donald Trump, holding up both middle fingers and text reading, Haktui, spit on that thing in reference to the viral Hawk Tui Girl video. Active duty troops, veterans, and family members who need help can call the Military Crisis Line, Veterans Crisis Line, at 988. You can chat at veteranscrisisline.net or text to 838-255. This is uh, unacceptable, very unacceptable in my opinion. To remove that young lady wearing that t-shirt in support of the suicide veterans. It is out of control. 
and they need the help they can get. For them to remove her like that is just absolutely ridiculous. And then to ask her to remove her shirt when she's braless, even if she had a bra on, the flight attendant should have at least turned around, gave her respect. She is a veteran, doesn't care about her veteran status. Uh, he should be fired or she should be fired. And uh, other than that, I don't know what else to say, but it's very upsetting to me. Uh, it should be upsetting to you, too. I hope you, hope you uh, get something from the story. Come back and see me. We'll see you again at Scotty B Show. Have a great day, great night, whatever the case may be. Yeah.